Hey, hey, everybody. The Lord's love will sustain you. It'll sustain you when you feel like you can't breathe. It'll sustain you when you can't sleep at night. The love of Jesus will sustain you. It'll sustain you when you're not sure what to do. When you feel like there's no hope with a butterfly. God's love will sustain you. It'll allow you to be able to look at what's around you, what the Lord has created, what he's made. And it'll remind you of how loving he is. I was, uh, during my walk, I was uh, always here from the Lord more clearly when I'm walking a trail or if I'm outside and just looking at some flowers or if I'm gardening, I always seem to hear him more clearly. And um, he, I got the unction from the Holy Spirit to just come on and talk about how his love will sustain us. He reminded me of his word when he brought up, uh, reminded me of when he, when the word of God talks about, um, I hope you can hear me, it's a big airplane flying over my above my head but um he reminded me of his word when it talks about how the um you know the birds and uh, uh animals don't worry about how they're gonna eat how they're gonna get shelter how they're gonna get water they just wake up every day and they know <laughs> They go out and they know they're going to find some food. They're not worried because they know who created them. And I um, just thought I would share that with you. That we don't have anything to worry about. Because we know the one who created us. He's our father. And he knows everything that we need. And he said, be reminded that my love will sustain you. Through the droughts, through the heavy rains, through the storms of life. So many, so many types of things we go through. And sometimes we reach a point in our life where we feel absolutely <laughs> lost. We're looking at two roads, one going left, one going right, and we don't know which one to take. Some of us have experienced so much disappointment uh, from people and you want to trust again, you want to love again, but you don't want to get hurt again. God understands and he already knows. Some of us just simply want to be happy. And we, we've experienced so much loss, loved ones dying, leaving us those we care about have died and went on and we don't know how to move on maybe you've lost your spouse maybe you have lost a parent or a child you don't know what to do the love of God is going to sustain you it's going to keep you when you don't even want to be kept you ever been in that place where you don't even want to be kept and you say to yourself I don't care no more Lord I don't, I don't care I don't care I don't care I don't even care. <laughs> even then, the love of God will sustain you. And when those negative thoughts come to your mind from the enemy, saying that, well, God's word is not true. He said he would never do this. He said he would never do that. He said you're his child. Why would he do that? Even then, the love of God is going to sustain you. It's going to keep you. The birds have no care in the world. The butterflies, they don't have no care. Not even the ants. They have no care. We know how hard working ants are. They build those big old uh, mounds and they, I mean, they some hard working strong little bugs. They don't have a care in the world. They get up and they do what they need to do. And I think we can learn a whole lot from what God created. He put all this beauty 
on this earth for us to remember him in the times that are hard in the times when we can't do anything but cry and can't even get out of the bed because we're so bound by depression you don't you know that's the best time to get out of out of the house get out that bed and go outside it's something healing about having a garden it's something healing about being outside looking at the trees hearing the birds it's healing for us God put that here for us to remember him and when we feel low in our spirit it should supposed to lift us up and be a reminder to us that God is a provider not only is he a provider he's a healer he can heal our hearts when it seems like <laughs> they've been damaged beyond repair God can heal us and teach us how to forgive when people continue to make us out to be somebody that we're not anybody know what I'm talking about you have people around you who continue to make you out to be someone that you're not even they don't even really know you you know even then God is a sustainer so I'm going to get off of here and finish up the rest of his walk because I don't want to get up a hill and start breathing hard and y'all hear me on here huffing and puffing but all glory to God I pray that everybody is doing well I pray you know that God loves you and I just pray that you will continue to endure and know that you are strong and know that you are loved even if nobody else seems to care know that God cares about you and he's always listening and that there are some things that we will have to go through because we have to we have to learn that's what life is about learning learning how to endure if you don't learn you won't ever know how and so I think when we get that reality or that truth in us it's easier for us to um to endure so god bless you all i love you very much with the love of christ have a wonderful day